Hi, I'm Dina Davidson. I enjoyed the message this weekend from Albert Tate. Hopefully you did too. If you didn't get a chance to see it, you can see it online. But there's this particular point in the passage where Jesus says, go get your husband. And if you were here, if you saw it, you saw Albert kind of focused on that moment where he said, go get your husband. And then he applied it to our lives. And he basically painted this amazing picture of, of Jesus, God saying, hey, you don't have to hide your stuff. You can bring your stuff to me. And then he went through this whole list of things that Jesus said, hey, bring this to me, bring this to me, bring this to me. And I was sitting in the audience and just thinking, ah, that is God. God is never saying, hey, that's inconvenient to me. Can you just tuck that under the rug? He is always the God that says, hey, bring this to me. And it reminded me of a scripture that I want to share with you this morning. Hebrews 4.16 says, Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. I love this passage. Whenever I am feeling guilty or even just cautious with God, I think about this verse. Let us draw near with confidence. So to apply this verse, I have to ask the question, what does confidence look like? For me, confidence is all about a lack of hesitation. So I would encourage you this morning, find those parts in your life, find those parts in your day where you are hesitating to draw close to God. Is it after you just cussed? Is it after you just said something you shouldn't have said to your spouse? Is it after you yelled at a friend? Is it after you looked at something you shouldn't? What is that moment where you suddenly find yourself hesitant to talk to God? Find that moment. And rather than doing what is your habit, drawing back, rather than me doing what is my habit, drawing back, let us push forward with confidence and say, my God says, bring this to me. That's our God. Hope that encourages you this morning.